Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. Today, it's another Tales of 69 Minutes Speed Paint. This is originally streamed on June 14, 2015. So, this is an older stream again. And this was day 7 with the theme of Ogi. Now, your Ogi or your High Ogi in the Tales of franchise are pretty much your specials. These are your finishers, these are activated by combos and certain battle conditions. And once you learn how to use them, you kind of abuse them a bit. Or rather, I, I use them a lot, especially guys and Luke's. But either way, um, I really wanted to do the Abyss specials because they were pretty cool. Even Luke's and Natalia's and Tears and... Actually, the only one I didn't really like was Anise, but hey, it's part of her character and... It suited her character, but it wasn't like the really cool, flashy special. And it cost you money. Anyway. So I was conflicted who I want to draw. It was either Jade's Indignation or Guy's Rising Phoenix and Brilliant Overlord. I decided not to do Luke or Natalia or Tear because I felt like maybe a lot of people would draw theirs. So I went for Jade or Guy. So it really took me a while to decide who I wanted to draw. But I ended up doing Guy with Brilliant Overlord. Because Rising Phoenix is cool and all, but Brilliant Overlord is my favorite um, special for Guy. Especially since it's really tied to his story, or I feel like you get the reference more once you know his background and backstory and all that thing in Jig. Plus, it gave me the chance to work Guy into a really cool, serious pose. Because, you know, if you know Guy, he's a, he's a bubbly, or no, not bubbly, he's a very kind and sweet character who's pretty optimistic. So, doing Brilliant Overlord kind of made him bring out that other side that he kept, which I won't spoil because it's part of the story. Even though it's been several years since Abyss released, but if you play the Abyss and you know when and how he acquired Brilliant Overlord, mm, character development. Because I'll let you guys know, Brilliant Overlord is his second special. His normal special is Rising Phoenix, which I did use a lot as well, but Brilliant Overlord really chumped it. For something done on day 7 of the challenge, I th think it turned out pretty well. I'm rather proud of how it turned out. Sure, it's not as refined or the lines aren't as clean as how I do them now in my more recent newer challenges, but even the lighting and everything else in the atmosphere of the piece, it was different from the ones I did before it. I started to see the effect of doing a very time-based challenge and it even made me want to do really complicated pieces, and I did do really complicated pieces, which is this one. You'll see later once I start doing the lights and the background, that it has more in-depth, it has more dimension to it than the drawings that I did before day 7.
light and the piece looks very warm. Even the color used for the shadow on the skin is a very warm color. Don't worry, this will balance out when I start doing the background and the like. And I even did that sort of unconsciously because at this point when I was doing this challenge, I wasn't super um, aware of color balancing and how a piece could look warm or cold based on what colors you use. But I sort of unconsciously balanced how the colors look like. So I'm actually pretty proud of me back in June 14, 2015. It was one of those rare occasions where a piece really turned out nice and I didn't fully plan for it to turn out that well. Not to mention it was timed, so I didn't really expect it to turn out good. But hey, I won that battle at least. So I'm adding a second shot. So I'm adding a second coat of shadows because I felt like based on the lighting that I was gonna do or that I wanted to do, it wasn't deep enough. So I added in a bit more depth to it. And you'll see now why I did that because it'll be a bit washed out later. Now that I notice it the wrist on the top is a bit wrong, but the other wrist looks fine. Well again. Recording voiceovers over old video recordings are really interesting and fun because you're, you're like, oh damn, that looks wrong. And it's already been a year since I did it. Or more, actually. But still, I'm pretty proud of this piece, even though that hand looks too thick. It still turned out pretty well. So here's what I'm talking about. I balance it out with a blue background so it gives a really... Um, it really makes you focus on the warm colors on Guy so he becomes the center of the attention and also made it that the light on the back, the lightest part of the background corresponds to the lightest part on Guy himself. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, DeviantArt. And I will see you around.